This lesson will teach you how to create and use charts and graphs in Microsoft Office Excel 365 and other versions of Excel. If you're interested in more video classes at Microsoft Office products and other Windows computer programs, you can contact us on the contact link on our channel, Song Director Free Music Database Software on YouTube, and our website at songdirector.com for more information. You can also leave a comment for this video. There is also more information in the video description area of this video. Be sure to click the like and subscribe buttons for this video. Thank you. In this video, we're going to go over creating a chart. So let's go back to our worksheet that we we're working on before. And suppose I wanted to make a chart for how many items were sold, how many units were sold. One way I could do that is I can go over here, I can click on the column for the items. And then I can use the shift and right arrow key. At this point, I can go over to the ribbon tab, choose insert, and go over to the chart section of that ribbon tab. And I can click on recommended charts. Now this will give us a some recommended charts we can use. This is a clustered column chart. Use the compare values across a few categories. Another type of custom uh, clustered column chart. This is a clustered bar chart. Um, chart uh, Pareto type uh, chart histogram chart histogram shows the frequency of occurrence of values within a data set ranges of values are grouped into bins I'm going to make it kind of simple I'm going to just do a cluster and column chart a little bit more basic and when I click on this hit OK it's just going to show the information that I need so right now we have the item in sum we have our, our chart right here and we can pick this up and move this around put it next to that and I'm going to go to I'm going to zoom in a little bit here so we can see it's a little better here we go so we have our items sum of units and as you can see, you just take a quick glance at this and you can see what sold very quickly. You can see the pencil and the binders sold the most, the desk sold the least, and the pen and the pen set were kind of in the middle. It's a very quick way of, of knowing what actually sold here. And we also have our items here telling us the actual number and we have our numbers here as well you can see this is about uh, binary 722 so it's just above um, 700 pencil 731 slightly above 700 and desk is, is 10 so it's pretty low if you notice here there's also a filter here if you click on this it says item and we can filter these out sort a to z z to a uh, we can also select what we want to show so if we just wanted to know we didn't really care about the desk we wanted to know more about the the pencils and the pens we can go and select this or take off the binder the desk pen set and here we just have the comparison of the pen and the pencil was sold. We can see the pencil sold more than the pen. So we, this is a very good way of looking at data very quickly, knowing what items sold. Another thing to be aware of now, if we click on the chart, if we look at the top of the ribbon, 
we have a few more tabs up here. We have the pivot chart, analyze, the design tab, the format tab. So these are more things we can use. More options on how to change the chart. And we'll go over this more in detail in other lessons, but just be aware you do have more tabs that pop up when we're highlighting the chart. So this concludes the lesson for creating a chart and stay tuned for the next lesson.